contour board on the Model D has a constant current source to drive the resistor string under the keys of the Pratt & Reed keyboard to derive the control voltage from the resistor divider network. The new Model D current reissue uses the uh, keyboard assembly from a Voyager, which is uh, uh, digitally stamped by a microcontroller and then uses an a to a D to 8 converter to create the control voltage. Um, and the analog circuitry of the Model D doesn't care where the control voltage comes from. So on the new one, it's digitally created with a D to 8 converter. So we don't need this current source anymore. Okay. However, since we duplicated the circuit boards exactly, the locations for the components for the current source are still there. Okay. We do use the analog sample and hold and the analog glide circuit to uh, faithfully reproduce the up and down time constants for the glide circuit when glide is enabled. So that's why those parts are stuffed. Okay, so it's true to form on the original. Yep. Theoretically, if I had a Pratt Reed keyboard and for some reason I wanted a retrofit, it could be possible with the right person to fit that in there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's just a redundancy uh, into the new era of uh, keyboard. It's the, like an appendix. Yeah. It's a carryover from previous days. That's fantastic. Okay, so I guess that answers the question as to why these uh, sections are not populated. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Tim? Gene. Gene, I'm sorry about the Gene. Thank you very much. And we're here at MoogFest 2016 at the Moog um, Factory. Uh, what is this called again? The uh, Pop-Up Factory. Pop-Up Factory. Yeah, there pop we go. Factory. Moog Pop-Up Factory. Thank you very much.